Welcome back, everybody. In the kitchen with Chef Ken Hall. He is the executive chef of all the Oneida Casino um, restaurants. Are you guys even open for Thanksgiving? Yes, we are. Um, all five of our restaurants are going to be open on Thanksgiving from cool. 11 a.m. until um, midnight. Okay, so if maybe you know after Thanksgiving dinner, if someone wants to come out and have some fun, you can do that. Or are some of them going to be serving turkey? Yeah, we're going to have a traditional turkey plate at both of our full-service restaurants, being Countryville Bar and Grill and then Lombardi's Legendary Sports Bar. Um, so you, you'll be able to come out and enjoy the festivities. There's all kinds of things going on in the casino itself, so you can come out and have some fun and have some good food. Yeah, good to know, because some people after dinner, you know, they're it's like, what should we do now? Maybe they're, you know, right. um, not going to do the shopping. So they are going to be open, and there's going to be food. Things happen in there. So um, what are we making today? We are doing an apricot glazed Cornish game hen. Ooh. This is one of my all-time favorites, and I'm also introducing it at the casino this year for our New Year's Eve uh, four course menu that we're going to be serving in Lombardi's. Nice, yeah. nice. So uh, if you want to get in on that, always looking for something fun to do for New Year's Eve. I'm sure we'll be talking about that later, but I'm sure right. you can call and reserve your spot. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be a four course meal, so Ooh. they're going to fill up quick. So. Sounds nice. So um, Cornish Game Kens, what I love about them is that everybody gets their own. They look beautiful, um, mm -hmm. and there's something different. Um, it's just something that we don't have very often. They're not expensive. No. Um, they're white meat, so it's you know mm -hmm. it's uh, every time you serve it to somebody, they everybody ooze and ahs, and it's it's they're great. But I can't remember the last time I made them or, or had one. Right, and we walk right past them in the stores yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah, usually they're, fr they're you're frozen. They're you know. frozen and they're individual, yeah. so you can pick as many as you want. You don't have to buy a, a large amount. So sure. if there's two of you, grab two. Yeah, yeah. Well, usually one per person is the way it goes. So. Right. Um, all right. So. Let's so talk about that. what we're going to do is, what I've got right here is I've got a half of an onion, and I like to use sweet onions, okay. so when, I, when Vidalia's and those type of sweet onions come into season, I'll usually buy a great deal and put them in my cold storage just to have them. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a very, very easy glaze that we're going to do. It is a half of an onion. Okay. We're going to put about a cup of chicken stock in here. Okay. Just enough to kind of cover our onions. Okay. This is something that we're going to boil. Okay. Then we've got a jalapeno. Okay. I like just a little bit of spice to it, so we're going to take, I'm going to leave the seeds in right at the end. Okay. Again, this is going to be a glaze, so you don't have to chop these really, really fine. We're going to put this in. Then we've got a little bit ginger? of fresh ginger, nice chunk of fresh Ooh. ginger. And the trick with your fresh ginger is you want to cut it real thin this way, and then you can come back and chop it that way so it's not real stringy. It gets stringy almost like celery gets yeah, stringy. Yeah. So you just want to come but back over. there's nothing like it because it smells. It's and yeah, it's oh. fantastic. But. And then just regular apricot preserve. Okay. And That's we're going to put enough. this over the top. Now if you want you can embellish with a little bit of vinegar. You can add a little bit of brown sugar if you want. So there are ways that you can really embellish on this. Now would you let that simmer for a while? Yep. So we're going to just put this over on the stove. Okay. And we'll bring that up to a simmer, but it takes about 20, 25 minutes. So okay. I went ahead and I made some already, Ooh. and this is what it turns out like. So it really reduces down. So kinda. it reduces down and gets a nice thickness and nice glaze Ooh, to it. Ooh, that looks good. One of the other sides that I just absolutely love this time of year to accompany this yeah. is I do a cabbage with bacon. So we've got our pan hot, and I've got just some chopped up bacon here. Okay. And that's already cooked, and I left just a little bit of the bacon grease in there. Okay. Then we're going to take a handful of cabbage. This is just shredded regular up. Regular shredded cabbage. Okay. And a little bit of shredded carrot. I love this idea because, you know, cabbage is really inexpensive, and most people just make coleslaw with it, you right. know. Um, but why not and then, saute it up? I never think about doing that. Right. So then I've got just a little bit of shallot. That we're going to throw in there again it's just a lighter sweet onion that we're going to put in there now for the cornish game hen you're going to start with an individual one okay once that cooks we remind me we need to add a little bit of chicken stock to the cabbage yep okay so, so with the cornish game hen i went ahead and put it in the oven already Ooh. to roast it did you when you started it did you start it seared on a pan or just roast it right in the oven the whole time? I just roasted it right in the oven the whole time. All I did with the pan was I just I put a little oil in the bottom and heated the pan. Okay. That way it didn't stick so bad. Okay, so a little oil, heat it in the pan, 
Then season this. What did you season it with? I seasoned this with just a little bit of salt and pepper. That That's was it. it. That's it. And rubbed it with a little oil. And then the trick is to wrap the, the ends with a little bit of foil and kind of cross them. That keeps your bird nice and tight together. Okay. How did that skin get so crispy? Just from a little bit of oil. Okay. You rub that little bit of oil so that way it's in there and it takes on that really nice crispy. Beautiful. So now we're going to add a little bit of our chicken stock okay. into that. I'm going to grab a plate. So then another way that you can serve this is while this is roasting, you can baste it with your sauce. Okay. Or you can serve your sauce on the side. So either way. Either Which way. Which is nice because this would be real kid friendly. This would for be people, really kid friendly. You know, um, but for grown ups, like I say, you've got the sauce on the side or it'll last, what, 15, 20 minutes or so baste with it? Right. Okay. Right. And, and once you baste it, um, another way you can do it as well is you can cut it in half and serve a half and do maybe chicken and a steak. You did that oh, steak, like Diane, that was beautiful. Okay. So if you have small medallions, you can do a dual plate. Okay. And you can just cut them right in half that way, or you can serve it just like this. I just love the wow factor of everybody getting their own Cornish game hen. I think that's a really a nice dinner party, you know, mm -hmm. thing to do, um, and reasonable, but still yet something fancy. Right, and this this glaze has that sweet spicy mm -hmm. flavor to it mm -hmm. so it really complements. Now you can you can add herbs to this. I love rosemary, I love thyme, sage. You could rub the top of that as well. Yum. Um, All right. Are we ready to how's our cabbage doing? Our, our producer cabbage Abby is saying good. we gotta move it along. Move it along. That's about par for the course. I know, I know. So we're gonna take our cabbage and we're just gonna kind of right in the center just to make a nest. So it's still got a little bit of crunch to it, which I like. I you know and then we're going to set our hand right in here. And then we are going to take our glaze and we're going to just oh. let our glaze kind of oh coat the whole thing and just a little bit around the plate. And there you go. Oh, Ken, that looks fantastic. And this is actually um, going to be part of this four course New Year's Eve dinner that you're doing mm -hmm. at the casino. So yep. uh, people can call and get more information on that. Absolutely. Cool. Ken's going to stick around. A brining a turkey uh, 101. How do you do it? What goes into it? Um, and then how to carve a turkey too. So stay with us. We'll be back.